Hey, it's the Rugby World Cup. So let's work out how to create a poster and an animated poster using the all new Adobe Express. So it's really easy to get going. You're just gonna press the plus here and then you can see suggested sizes down here. You've got poster on it. Let's go for that. That's absolutely fine. Right, so what are we gonna do here? Well, we're gonna kind of do a poster which advertises one of the World Cup games. You can do it for any team you like. Uh, there is uh, Wales versus Fiji on Sunday, the 10th, about 8 p.m. So I will use that as the start. But obviously, Ireland, England, Scotland, whatever you want to do, uh, you're welcome to use whatever you like. So first things first, I'm going to search in photos and I'm going to go for rugby. See what we get. Okay, what I'm really looking for is I'm looking for a set of rugby posts. This will be perfect. Okay, so it comes in. It's really small. Just click on it and you can just drag... You see, even there, we've got a lot more dragging to do. I'll drag the middle there and drag it all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so once we've got that there, what are we going to do next? We're going to go to text. Okay, add your text. So this is uh, Wales v Fiji, right? Put that text in there. Now, clearly, as it looks now, doesn't look particularly good. So you can go to your recommended fonts here, and it's giving you all sorts of different things. You can choose whatever you like. I'm looking for something bold. I mean, that one's quite good fun, to be fair, but it's not a circus. <laughs> so let's go for something else. If you don't find anything in here, you can just go into your text. Uh, you can get, just go into your kind of text edit here, and you do get a little preview. You know, see, look at this one, Barber Complete. That's perfect. That's what I'm looking for. I'm going to give this one an outline in white. But also, I'm thinking maybe I could flip those two colors as well. That looks much better to me. I like that. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to bring it up to the top. Pink line is that means it's dead on center and I can play around with the size to make it a bit chunkier if I want. But always remember, make sure you go back and make sure it's centered. Okay, that's cool. So that's kind of my header text. Then I'm going to add some more text. So this one is Sunday, uh, the 10th September. Okay. And although it's the same text, it's now black uh, with a white outline. So, well, actually it's got no outline on that. So maybe I'll put a little white outline on it Okay, next up, what am I going to do? Well, uh, I'm going to put some kind of picture in here. So let's go to media. Let's go to photos again. Let's go for rugby again. Let's see what we've got. Okay, nice. This one's cool. So I'm going to put this one in and then let me bring it up. There we go. Put it down here. Now, I know it's right in front of the posts. And that's fine. That's no problem with that. Uh, but I'm going to remove the background on this. So it's got it selected. I'm going to remove the background. There we go. Looking pretty good. Now, if I zoom in a bit, let's zoom in to like 50%. Okay. And then you can see, chop this guy's head off a little bit. So let's go to uh, erase here. And then what it'll do is it'll give me the option to restore. And then instead of quick selection, I'll do circle brush. What size is that? 20. That's okay. And all I'm going to do here is just paint back in the areas that it cut out, which actually we want to keep. There we go. There is some down here as well on his leg. So let's get that bit as well. But other than that, you know, it's quite far. It's quite zoomed out. So I'm not too worried about that. Click done. They were just a couple of obvious bits that I saw. If I fit it, zoom to fit all again. That's looking pretty perfect. I like that. Really nice. Now, one thing that I want to do on here as well is I want to put like, um, you know, some kind of message in the middle. So uh, I know this is Wales against Fiji. And actually that picture looks like it could be Wales. But actually the other team looks like Samoa. But, you know, can't be, uh, you can't win all the time. So <laughs> what you can do here is like put like a message in the middle. So for Wales, it might be come on comedy, for example. But for Ireland, for example, you might be doing something like Ireland's Call. So let's go down here and look at the lyrics for Ireland's Call. Uh, where is it? Come the day and come the hour, come the power and come the glory. Love that. So let's grab that. And um, then we can go back to our thing here. Go to text. Now, one of the things that you could do here is you could use one of the templates in here. So I'm just going to add my text in and then I'll paste it in. And for this one, I'm actually going to look for a font, which is, if I just select it all again, uh, I'll bring this right down, like maybe to 
something like that. And then what I'm looking for is something which is a bit more like uh, handwriting, Adobe handwriting. I mean, there you go. Uh, and you could uh, come the day and come the hour, come the power and the glory. So you could, you know, break it down into four lines like that and have it come in right in the middle of the posts like that. Now, I might want to make that stand out a little bit more. I could, you know, sort of rotate it a bit just to give it a bit more style. But one of the things I might do here is select it and then I could put an outline on it. But this I'll put the outline as black uh, just so it gives it a little bit more chunk. And then select it again and I can always make it a little bit bigger. Okay, wait till we hit the middle. There you go. I mean, that looks pretty cool. I like it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to I'm going to call it uh, Wales Rugby um, Poster, right? Got that there. Nice. Then one of the things that you can do here is if you want to start making this into an animated poster, which is kind of the second half of this tutorial, then you've got this little button up here that says View All Pages, and we've only got one page in there. But what we can do here is click the three buttons and press Duplicate Page. Right, exactly the same thing. And what we can do there is click on it. Right, now we're gonna work on the second page, but for this one, we're gonna make it animated. Right, so how does that work? Well, first thing I wanna do is I wanna put a video in there. As soon as I put a video in there, it'll give me a video timeline on the bottom. So let's go to media, let's go to video. And here I'm gonna search for smoke. And I found a really cool one over here. And it was red and blue, just the same as their jerseys, which I thought was pretty cool. So I'm going to stick that in there, right? You can see down the bottom, I've got this timeline automatically. I'm going to stretch this out. And actually, it works really nicely. Uh, what I'm going to do here, you see on the blend mode, because obviously, if we just play this timeline now, you can't see the rugby players behind it. So that's a bit pointless. Uh, and also, this video bizarrely kind of flips round about there. You see, very strange. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that we just trim it to there. And then we've got full red and blue. I don't know why it changes to white, but it does. Okay, now, if you can see here, if you want to make the smoke appear on top of the rugby players and still be able to see them, you go to blend mode here and you go to screen. And now check this out. If I bring this playhead back to the start, that's pretty cool, isn't it? It's going right across their jerseys. You can see that perfectly. I like that. And you can't even tell that it's kind of a separate video. So we're all good there. I like that. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through and I'm going to work on each of these pieces of text. Now, if you want to do that, you have to toggle on this show layer timing. And there it is down there. Now, Wales versus Fiji. That's the first piece of text I want to animate on screen. So I'm just going to drag it so it doesn't come along right at the start. Okay. And then you can see here, boom, it flashes up. Now, let's put some things, let's make some choices about this animation. So when it comes in, I want it to drop in. Or maybe, actually, I want it to bungee in. That looks pretty cool. Duration, maybe there. Bounces, two. That's good. So, and then when it's looping, I can get it to, I can get it to flicker. I could get it to pulse. Yeah, I like pulse. That's good. Intensity, I'll bring the intensity right down. I don't want it to be too heavy duty. And now let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's cool. Just keeping it in your mind. That's what's going on. Right. Next, I'm going to do select Sunday, September the, or 10th of September. Now for this one, I want to make it a little bit further. I want to make that come after Wales. So if I bring my playhead back again, Wales comes in versus Fiji. Day comes in. Okay, cool. Right, if I stop my playhead there and then select this, come the day and come the hour, come the power, come the glory, which is Ireland's call, that's going to be the third thing that comes in. So let's go back to 10th of September. What do we want to do with the animation here? Let's have a look in maybe. So the first one has bungeed in. Maybe the second one can fade in. Yeah, fade in, I think. And then looping. Do you know what? I'm not going to put any looping on there. I'm just going to let it fade in and sit. That's perfect. Duration, maybe I'll bring that up. And it's going to be soft in terms of personality. And then this third one, 
that comes in right at the end. How's it going to come in? Let's have a look. Animation in. Uh, let's have it to grow. Yeah, nice. And then what do we want it to do? Let's have it breathe. Yeah, that's cool. Speed, bring it down. Intensity, bring it down. Don't want it to be, don't want anything on the screen to be too intense. So let's bring that down. Now let's bring it back to the start and see what we've got going on. So right at the start, it's completely blank with the smoke, which has been screened. The whale speedy comes in, flickers. Yeah, this is nice. I like it. Right. I think actually with come the day and come the hour, I think with the animation, oh, well, let's go back here animation i'm actually going to get rid of the breathe just going to get it sitting on screen and then also one of the things yeah i accidentally just put a shadow on it which actually i really like uh, i'm going to change the color of that to white that just gives it a little bit of well, actually there's one called lift let's do that there's one called glow there's all sorts of things going on here i like that i like the little lift one that's good so if we take it back to the start what I'm going to do, the final thing I'm going to do here is put some media on, and this is going to be audio, right? And for this one, I'm looking for something epic, right? That's that's what I want to do here. So let's have a look. I think I just nailed it first time. Let's stick it in. And you can see it goes down the bottom, and it'll go along the entirety of your timeline. So once we press play again, That is perfect. Right. So now that we've got that, we can, we've got different options here. We can, we can go back to view all pages. Our first page here is our poster, just a normal graphic, which we can, uh, which we can open up and we can download, download the selected page as a PNG. That sounds great. Let's download it there. Go back to our pages. And then the second one here, double click it. This is now our video, like our animated poster. And you can download this one if you want. Download it as an MP4, selected page, perfect. And then also you can press share, publish to web, just like you can do for your normal poster as well. And then press publish link. That will publish both of those projects so that you can share it with whoever you like, your teacher, fellow students, whoever. And there you go. That's how you create a poster and an animated or video poster for the Rugby World Cup using Adobe Express. Good luck with yours.